All right, Salam alaikum. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pasa Elders, Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teach the word in all true faith and sincerity. And yet today, I'm pretty much, uh, I just want to tie this lesson. V talk and C talk, which, you know, the times that we're in, you should very well know what those things are, man. And we're coming into a time where everybody's life is about to change drastically, you know, because uh, it's about to be a decree that's about to come forth. There's um, pretty much everyone is about to be affected by this, man. You know, matter of fact, let's start off with this. Because you hear about the New World Order, you know, you know, back in the days you had Jake had these different Illuminati tapes floating around, the, you know, the hood and everything. When now we're in a time where them very same things is now coming into place. Them laws and legislations that these devils have passed throughout the years, you know, these different presidents they went through and false flags, all this now is we in that time where we're in crunch time, so to speak. It's just like you 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 in a um, playoff game, you've been working on this trick play all year just for this moment. Well that's what this devil have done, man. You know, by the way it is V. You know, and ultimately that's going to lead to the C, man. You know, and then the M word, which is mandatory, has been pretty much been a trending topic with news, man. Mandatory, you know. So this is on um, Revelation chapter 3 and 10. It said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. See, the hour of temptation, <laughs> which <coughs> it's like it, that's. That's the time that we're coming into, man. Where this man is going to uh, pretty much bring forth the decree to, I said, mandate this be. And ultimately, that's going to go to the seed, which is the mark of the beast. You know? And it's going to and it's gonna be around the same time as uh, Jacob's trouble, man. You know? It says, we shall come upon a whole the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth, and yeah, this is gonna be the whole inhabitants of earth. See, it's not a new, it's it's not coined as new world order for nothing, man. You know, this is not just reserved to Babylon and Greek. No, this is actually a global system that these devils trying to um set up, man. This global reset, you know, in the bridge to that, you know, is is really that mark of the beast, man. But that V, you know, is is like a test run before they fully implement. That that chip man, you know, and and, and that and this this is a um this this chip talk, you know, is a very well needed conversation, because, uh, with the dealing with the mark of the beast, that's not a prophecy that you can get wrong, man. Matter of fact, let's read the penalty for taking the mark of the beast, because this is something that you this is not a prophecy you cannot take lightly, man. This is something that you can't. There's no mulligans. When it comes down to getting the chip wrong, you know, I mean, the mark of the beast wrong, because you can you can have Jakes that say, "Well, the so-called white man, that's not Esau." Well, you you can you will find out when this man come down with that great wrath, you know. You say, you know what, I, I, you you can repent from that. You can repent, and say, you know, that man is the devil, he is Esau, or uh, any uh any other uh or even dealing with the missiles. You say the missiles ain't real. Well, you can say, you know what, when them, when that time come, you will see it then. And the Lord just might have uh, uh, mercy on you, you know, even in that time. Because you repent it, you see it. But with that mark of the beast, you take that mark of the beast. That's one thing that you can't repent from, man. You know? So that's one prophecy that you got to get right from the jump. That, like I said, it's no mulligans with the mark of the beast. You get the chip. And you, you know what I mean? And now it's thoroughly broken down. Which it have been thoroughly broken down, you know, starting to pass the elders for years. You got all this information coming out, but you can't consider if it's already in your hand. It's too late, you know. So this is Revelation chapter fourteen and nine. It said, "And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, and any man worship the beast and his image, which what subscribing to this system. See, this is the this is the process of taking the mark of the beast. You 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 pretty much is, is um you in bed with this devil by the way of subscribing to his system." You know, his philosophies, 
You know, or just you. You ain't gonna even say because you you a Christian, that's worshiping the, uh, the beast in his image. Just living this lifestyle, the same walk this man is walking. That's worshiping the image and the beast in his image. It said and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. See, that was gonna lead to you uh, taking that mark, taking that chip. You know, it said the same said drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Which is poured out with our mixture in the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. See, so if you take that, that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, guess what? You're going to die, man. You can't. That's something that you cannot repent from. You know, this, this is a, this is a, this is, um, something that you got to get right. You know, this this is this is the that one prophecy that you gotta get right, man. You know, and that's why you have and that's why you have um <clears throat> you know the devil the Satan himself, you know, he got these different groups set up to lead you into that path of destruction, man. See that has always been the case. He always had somebody try to influence you to um to lead you astray, man. You know, just like, you know, it, um, you got this nigga Slim Thug. He's telling he he he's already promoting himself. Hey, he's take he's gonna take that medicine, man. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean he's gonna take that V. He wants things to get back to normal. And guess what? You got people that that um bite on this man's words, man. You got people that say, you know what, that's Slim Thug, man. That man's words hold weight. And guess what? They're gonna take the V now, cause of him. Matter of fact, um, I think that's Isaiah. Is it Isaiah three? <coughs> so like yeah, it's Isaiah three and twelve. It said, "As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. And who are the leaders of uh, Jake, man? You know, and they let you know our people has been has has fell off to the utmost. To the, you know what I mean? This is we we fell off." All the way off, man, as a nation, as a whole, because our leaders are fucking rappers, you know, uh, uh, um, comedians, actors, so just someone that entertains you, man. You really look at the leaders of Jake is nothing but uh, entertainers. You got sports um, athletes. Those are the ones that's leading you. Those are the ones that those words. If they say something, you're going you're gonna to actually hold on to them words. You're going to follow those paths that they tell you to go, man. It said, oh, my people, they was lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. See? Meaning what? Because the path we're supposed to be on is a path of life, you know. But what you do, you tell them that you're going to take the V to put in their mind that they should take the V. And ultimately to take the C, man. You know? And this has always been the case, man. This has always been the case. You got even within uh just you got just simple jakes, you know, that you know that um bite on the words of these different uh entertainers. But even within Israel, you got you got um uh jakes that use certain scriptures, manipulate the scriptures to pretty much uh uh, uh you know, going away to uh the those a uh, death, man. You know? Why? Because they 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 are um they got a certain status here. I mean, you know, so the A with that mark of the beast, man, you know, with starting with that V was gonna lead to that C. That's something that's one thing that you gotta get right. Because if you don't, you're gonna die, man. You know. Matter of fact, um, like I said, you got this devil. He pretty much has certain people of renown. To try to lead you astray. <coughs> so like you. You back with me. Let's see if I can find it. Alright, Con, this is on. Um, <clears throat> this is on. Um, Second Mac B6 and 18. It says Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man. And of a well-favored countenance, 
was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. See? And he got his man Eleazar. He said he was a principal scribe, aged man. So he was he was a leader, man. You know, he was an elder, and he and, and it says uh and of a well favored countenance. So he was he was he had a uh he had a uh a influence on the people, man. That's why he was chosen to try to eat fine, uh the, the swine's flesh, man. You know, and, and that's what these the, you know, you got uh Pretty much, uh, Jake doing in spirit when they say they're gonna take the V or they're gonna take the T, uh, the the C, you know, because that's gonna pretty much influence the other Jakes to do it, man. You know, it said, but he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live strained with such an abomination, spitted forth and came of his own accord to to the torment. See, so guess what? He had the integrity, man. So he's not gonna bow down. To the image, man. You know, because this was uh this was actually this, you know, doing these devils, there was a decree that you had to sacrifice wine flesh, you had to eat the swine's flesh, you couldn't circ circumcise your, your sons. You know, this was the decree that these devils had brought forth back then, man. You know, it says, as it behooved them to come that they are resolute to stand out against such things and are not lawful for love or life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of the wicked of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance that they had with the man <coughs> taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful to him to use and make it as he if he did eat of the flesh, take it from the sacrifice commanded by the king. See, so pretty much they pulled him to the side, you know, and and and, and, and told him to bring get get some something that's lawful to eat and just make it seem like it's pork, man. You know, and that's what pretty much when you take the bag, you ain't got no choice but to um uh, to um uh, you know follow what Esau tell you to do, man. You you know it's a once you get that once you take the bag with this devil man, you know, you can only say so much you can only do so much, you know just like these different um, let's say you got Jake dealing in the sports world, but guess what, they can't they can't in the off season it's not like they can, yeah you know I mean, uh, uh 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 enjoy the perks that came with that the money they got. No, they gotta continue to work out. They gotta eat certain food. They can't. They can't hang out with certain people. So it's a it's a restrictions that comes with this devil, man. You know. Yeah, you are gonna get the money, but you know, it's gonna always be a but when it comes down to the devil, man. You know. But it's all an effort to overthrow the rest of the people, man. That's the pit. See, the devil already set up. You you got somebody of a certain status. Now you wanna be like them. But that path to get there is a pit right there, man. But you don't know it yet. You know? It says, continue on. It said that in doing so, he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with, with them fine favor. See? <coughs> so, to you, pretty much, that he had to do this or he would die, man. And pretty much, hey, that's, that's um, we coming in that time. Either you going to, um, Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Revelation 13. And this chapter and this whole chapter pretty much this chapter been coming out a lot more, man. Because we're in those times. You know, from the um pretty much the eleven verse on down. Um, this is um Revelation 13 and 15. It said he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Meaning what he this same system that was back then, it it, it was once again erected, man. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and is caused that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See? And yeah, and pretty much either you're gonna be literally you're gonna be literally killed by the way of these concentration counts, you know, you're gonna be that that guillotine, you know. And also if you just gonna you're not gonna be in you you you're not gonna be able to uh, continue in this society. You know, you're not gonna be able to be in this system, you're gonna go off the grid, you know. <clears throat> Cause that's the first thing you think. You can't let's just say you looking up somebody's name, you know, on the internet or whatever the case may be, and you can't find it. The first thing you think is that they dead. 
But most of the time, you know, times you might, they might be out the grid, man. And that's the time we come, that's why I said whosoever lose his life, for my sake, they're going to find it. And that's, that's the time we're going to come into. We're going to have to lose our life for this word, man. Meaning, we're going to have to get out the grid. We're not, we're going to give up pretty much, even though it's not nothing here to hang on to here in America. Anything you find so, some kind of uh, value, it's, you, it's not like you can enjoy it. So we gotta give up everything, yeah. You know I mean, to um, uh, uh, lose our life to find life to be delivered and, and be in the kingdom, man. You know, but you're gonna have t- taste is gonna bow down and worship. You know this beast, man. They're gonna take that. They're gonna take that that V, and then the next step is take that C, man. It's a, and he calls of all, and that word calls goes into a decree, man. Both small and great, rich and poor, friend, bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And also that decree, when you deal with a decree, that's mandatory, you know. And and, 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 and let's just say they don't say it's not mandatory. But when they say, okay, if you don't take the V, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do that. So that means that's, that's roundabout saying it's mandatory, you know. You can't come in my store unless you get that. You know what I mean? That's mandatory, man. It said, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See? <coughs> you know, you got simple. It's like this, this saying, you, the big nation, small. No, man. They talking about individual, and it said buying and selling. Because that's what is, this, we're in the land of traffic, man. You know? And, and it goes into businesses. That's what everything, even going to work, that's a business. You know? Getting gas, all that. So even yo, just a simple thing, you go and buy a toilet tissue. You can't do that unless you got that mark, man. You know? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start with that V. We're going to ultimately end up, you're going to have to get the C, man. You know? But guess what? We come in a time where it's, it's, it's going to be a very heavy decree that's going to come forth, and it's going to change everyone's lives, man. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, let's get this on. <clears throat> Isaiah 43. Let's see. I don't think it's 43. No, that ain't. Let's see. Bear with me. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, is warning you of the things to come forth, man. This is on your Isaiah 42 and 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. See? Meaning what? The flood. So, uh, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? You know, 70 AD. Uh, uh, being thrown over here, coming over here as cargo slave ships, man. Those things that came to pass, it said, And new things do I declare. See? And what are those that new thing that that has been declared with well, that you know, that mandatory implication of them on the RFID microchip, man? <clears throat> it said before they spring forth, I tell you all that when when some spring forth is made obvious, you know it's made very well clear of what it is. Just like an apple tree, you don't know the apple tree unless that fruit starting to come forth. When you see, even you know you start seeing the bud a little bit. You still can't make out what it is until it's fully blossomed into an apple tree. And, and it, once it's spring forth, you say, you know, that's an apple tree. So, before, you know, <clears throat> before this chip is being, which is, is, is obvious as day, man. It's clear as day with the mark of the BCS, you know. The Lord said he's going to tell you of this before I spring forth. And this is how you're going to know that a prophet have been among you, man, when this chip. Is is being made mandatory, man? Because you, it's not like you can't lie and say it's not real. You know, you got people, you know, throughout the world, you know, having chipping parties. You know, you got um, <clears throat> you got Moab. They got this different that that what it is that um, <clears throat> with a um, you know, you got these citizens, the citizen points, and yeah, you know I mean those is those draconian laws is is over there. You see it coming over here. You know they look at you funny when you get when you have cash. They don't want you to use your card no more. 
So before it ultimately spring forth and become, it's all in your face. The Lord's telling you before before it's in your face. I mean, before it hits you in your face. You know, when you when you swipe your card and they tell you you got to go to your local post office to get the, you know what I mean? So we, but we are in those times, man. And this is this is that one prophecy that you can't get wrong because if you do, you gonna die. And that's all. That's what else can I tell you? You know, we gotta pray to you. How about some outside the Lord keep keep spirit us on that day to keep us from that, man. Because there's nothing external that you can do to um, preserve yourself <coughs> from the times to come, man. You know. But yeah, I can.